everyone and what is up? My name is DeFree and here today we're going to be using the Termina Power Base team. Now, I know this is kind of weird to look at it. It's like, wait, where's the other Pride Troopers? Where's XYZ? Where's UI? Like, where are these characters at, right? I shouldn't even say Termina Power because technically that hit isn't from the Termina Power. We don't actually even have a hit from the Termina Power. They're both from the Champa Saga. So maybe one day we will get that with maybe a different couple of attacks. Maybe even an LF hit. I mean, let me not get far ahead of myself. Regardless, though, uh, imagine that hit is from the Termina Power. What is this team? This is the Termina Power uh universe leaders type of team right so the thing about it is is they don't explicitly tell us every character that leads every universe directly you can surmise but they don't directly tell you so jiren and uh ribrian are kind of irrelevant here i guess even though ribrian technically is representation for her universe jiren is mainly just a bench character so when it comes to the jiren's universe universe 11 right universe 11 uh i assume that the leader of their team would be topo because topo is actually the leader of the pride troopers so it just makes sense because their whole team was pride troopers it could it could have been that jiren was the captain i don't remember that direct literature if they literally said so in the in the uh show or maybe even in the manga which is obviously very different from the show uh in terms of bergamo's universe i have bergamo there hit is actually the one i have representing universe six because it could have been kaba but i imagine it's hit but i also think a dark horse candidate for their leader would have been like somebody like chomper or something like that so that's another thing to consider but I, I, I assume it's hit right gohan they explicitly tell us was the universe uh seven leader so there's that and again for brianna's representation for her group so there's that anyways this is a fun little team nothing super competitive nothing super serious nothing you guys should really be using i say that from time to time because i throw these teams together just to see if i can get a couple fun matches with them and that's all this is so thank you all for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed today's video hit that subscribe stick around for some more content and uh please feel free to educate me on anything i said in the beginning of the video this last minute or so because i it's been like three years since i've seen terminal power stuff right so i i could easily be misremembering so anyways thank you all have an awesome day let's go and jump right into the matches and uh, see how this one goes man okay here we go with the first match and we're versus a future team so here we go don't do the blast i was going to use the blast okay i got a tap okay thanks i got another buff there we go only downside is those buffs are kind of irrelevant for this chunk of the team. They'd be a lot better on, like, Sun Family. So there's that. Okay. That's fine. Strike. There it is. Hmm. Charge, please. Dude. Freaking lag. Stop. Oh, okay. Well, that's something. Not a single tap. Nice. I'll have to actually use Gohan a little bit. Please stop with the little, just intermittent lag. Okay, let's go for the blast. Goku Black. Nice. For God mode. Not doing God mode damage, though. <laughs> doing pretty trash damage, but we'll take it. Stop that. It comes out of nowhere. Really? 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 He dropped? It turned into a freaking bot? Really? Really? <laughs> really? I, it's no longer the dude here. He dropped. Damn it. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and, you know, yeah, that's a bot play. The the, the fact they read my input there to, to read my top punch and backdash like that, that's a bot. That's a bot. It's a bot. It's a bot. Really, I know it's a bot because whenever he disconnected, if you rewind it, there's a little connecting in the bottom right corner below my HP bar. And yeah, so we'll just play some more starting from here and I'll just finish this match off. So we'll be right back. Okay, here's our first real match, and uh, we're versus a fusion team. I believe it was a Zenkai 6 Gogeta, which is all you really need in terms of getting that last peak ability, being able to, able to do everything he wants to do. That's how that's all you really need. Anyways, um should have waited on that. That's my mistake. I'll sub here. Or not. I must have clicked that a half second late, huh? Anyway, so sub here now, finally. Sub? No sub? Okay. Freaking Kefla. Just doing Kefla things. All right. We'll sub in Toposito for that. No faint. Last here. All right. Let me drop combo right here. No sub to Super Vegito? What? You just took the hit? That's some interesting stuff, man. I'll blast here. Top punch. Nice. Sub. Draw. Thank you. 
Nah, not the same thing again, bro. Not the same exact play twice. Screw you, Kefla! I'll step here. Tap shot. Tap punches. Uh, tackle. There we go. There we go. Oh, hit? Gonna eliminate Gogeta? What? Yo, can I get crits? If I get crits, nah, he's gonna stop the Kefla, of course. Of course. I'm not even getting crits, though, so that's unfortunate. Oh, he did sub, as expected. I'm getting crits here, though. Sounds like a freaking machine gun back there. All right. He sees this, damn it. That was a really good stop clock. Hmm. Just can't let Topo take the, uh, the ult, because obviously he'll get uh, his endurance popped. All right. I thought about going to Bergamo, but I think Bergamo has just a little bit more value to me towards the end portion of the match. Bergamo is actually really good, even though it hits pretty good too. Uh, okay, as long as he didn't hit the faint, that's all that mattered. Dude drifts a lot. There it is. Nice. Here comes Super Vegito, in which case I will rush that dude. Ah, do I even need to? I'm doing decent damage, actually. Yeah, I don't think I need to. We did pretty decent damage. I'm gonna go really quick here so we can't sub. Side sipping just wastes time. For better or worse, by the way. It's not exactly a bad thing that I waste time. Nice, I didn't need that ult. He sees this. He's probably gonna try to throw his card. Oh, I'm out of that, boy. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Bergadmo. Nice. Love to see it. All right, well, that's going to do it <laughs> for Cabo OP. He soloed that match. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, that rush right there was super risky. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's play some more, man. Okay, here's the next match. I'll start with the strike there. Okay, we have the same idea. Ah, damn it, not great. <laughs> we got the exact opposite. He got near perfect while I got pretty bad. So I'll sub here. Take some hits. Uh, let's see. Staying here or are you going to Kefla? Okay. He's going to stay with Jiren. Makes sense. All right. I actually subbed to Topo here. Please don't lag. Thank you. Little drop there, but I was able to chain it. Keep it going, I guess. Not a single tap. Cool, so we can go. Let's go for a blast here. Why is it lagging a little bit? Please stop that. I, it, you know what? It's not even like it's unplayable. It's just I notice it, and it like literally annoys the hell out of me, bro. It really does. It's not even like it's that big of a deal. I just notice it. I could have got that strike first. It's all right, though. Anyways, uh, Kefla subbed in. Hey, would like to use that blue. So I don't have a green card. That would be nice. Strike here. We both have the same idea. Again. And I got the same score, basically. <laughs> I have to let Bergamo take a couple hits. Because if I sub in Topo, he'll just go for the ult. Uh, but the thing is, if I sub in Topo for the ult specifically, that's a little bit of a different scenario. Like right here, if he goes for it, I can sub him in reliably. Um, and not have his endurance get destroyed, so I have to because I don't want to lose him that early What if I had done it a card earlier? I wonder if that would have reduced the key enough to where he couldn't do this Cool, he didn't get the faint, so that's all that matters What? What? I got frame trapped? Are you kidding? Oh my god, bro Dude, I got freaking frame trapped that blows. I had the green and blue. That's a whole reason I switched here. That's fine. Uh, by the way, hit can nullify endurance on any arts card. It's just he's not doing enough damage to Topo for it to be relevant. Actually, on taps too. So it's only hand like not even a handful. Maybe like three characters that can do that. Jiren? No Jiren switch, okay? 
Well, that makes things a little interesting right here. I'm gonna go Blast. Ooh, I drew a green card. Nice! Come on, Brigadimo. Finish it off. Finish it off! Nah, it's not doing it. Oh, it did! At the last second. <laughs> How deceptive. Oh, are you serious? We serious right now? We serious? <laughs> I thought I had that one for sure, bro. I strip there. I won't drop here. I will drop here. He doesn't sub! Damn it! He doesn't sub ever! Oh, thanks for being late. I appreciate it. Let's go. He doesn't sub until he subs right there. Finally, I got him on a drop combo. And I'm getting rid of that damn to or Topo. Jiren! I'm doing it. To Domina! I'm gonna go for the blue. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Freaking Topo. You can't even see your face during those blasts right there. Yes! Yes! Finally! Let's draw the ult, too. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! Uh, so count down. Oh! I didn't get it! Damn it! I don't want to sub yet, though. She's probably going to chain, like, five cards. But he's tanking decently well. Yeah, if he's got Blast, that's going to help tremendously. Uh, you need another card to pop the Endurance. He's going to rush. Okay. He wanted to make sure he got the Endurance down. That's cool. I'll live with that. Clearly, it doesn't really matter as much. He had to do the ult, too. Tefla is in a very pressured situation. She can definitely win this match. Don't get it wrong. She could definitely win the match. I'm going to tackle here. I normally don't. I think it's a horrible thing to do in most cases, but it, it was high value to me because he couldn't draw an ult. So that's going to wrap it up. Well, that was a good game. So we're going to play one more game. Um, I'm going to try to mix in Gohan. It's just, you know, it just kind of depends on the matchup. So we'll see what we can do. All right, everyone, here we go with the next match. I made sure to bring Gohan. The downside is it's a double green. That's not going to be great for me, man. Topo switch. No, why not? I mean, I'm not doing any damage, but sure, why not? Might as well get your type advantage, right? I'm just farming Dragon Balls here, I guess. Because I'm certainly going to need them. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be fun. Hmm. Another blast shot? No. Thank you. Don't destroy those Lovatos. Thank you. Go for the screen here. Sucks Lovatos is going to sub in for sure here, though. Go for another one. Get my key up. And go for the blue. No Vado switch, by the way, which is really surprising. All right. Thanks, Gohan, for your long-range greens. I appreciate it. Should have took that tap shot. What's up? There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was a really good read. That was a really good read. There's the Vado switch, finally. Just going to rush her. That was a really good read on my part. Um, I'm happy that went through successfully. As you can tell by the last match, those reads, sometimes you just get into that galaxy brain mode and they don't work. Last match, I tried it like four times or something like that before it finally worked. I was like, bro, he doesn't cover! <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, okay. Ooh, buddy! <laughs> this is exactly, at the end of the last match too, I said it's a horrible thing to, to tackle right after rushes. But I felt like it was high value. Um, so this one's a nice, refreshing match after the last one. My god, tackling coming. Tap shot. Okay, vanish pack. Alright, let's go for the ult here, and I want to bring Gohan in for the stretch, home stretch of this match. Bergamo has been really impressive throughout the video, though. Like, Bergamo, I think, uh, with all the new characters from this last couple of updates, has gotten a lot better. Oh, nice. Sucks I don't have cards. This would be really nice if I had cards. 
And Gohan's really good as well with this update, but more so as a green card battery for uh, UI Goku. <laughs> it's really good as a green card battery. Ah, damn it, those are size up. I was just a little early on it. And also like a passive buffer. When he gets hit, he does buff uh, Sun Family Allies, so he's really good with UI. And it makes sense. They're both from the Tournament of Power, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Definitely not a team you guys should be trying to use, but if you're looking for something to spice it up, have a tad bit of fun, I guess, there you go. So thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have some chalky milk, as Gohan says. Have an awesome day, and I'll be seeing all of you. In the no, he didn't actually say that. Have an awesome day. I'll be seeing all of you in the next one. Click on one of the videos, by the way, on the screen. Peace out, everybody.